that they were, they were having issues and he thought that the only way that the issue should stop is to have a permanent solution to the issues. If Peter is complaining that he doesn't uh, get uh, his ideas, cont contribution uh, in the P Square brand, that what they are going to do now is that if they are going to be doing everything 50-50, like for instance now, they said they wanted to have a, uh, an album or whatever. Somebody wants to get their album for 10 tracks. He said, okay, you will bring half of the album, I'll bring half of the album. You will be in charge of your five songs, I'll be in charge of my five songs. You promote your five songs, I promote my five songs. If you want to shoot the video, you have an idea of the video, instead of conflict with mine, shoot it with your own in your own five songs, I'll shoot mine in my own five songs. Hello legends, welcome to my channel. So guys saw so on this video, you're gonna watch at the moment tell uh, uh Jude Okoye, the senior brother to uh Dua singer, African Dua singer, Peter and Paul P Square. Yes, uh, speak on his own side of story about the issues uh, between these two uh, twin brothers, Peter and Paul. Yes, look at it here uh, as a Jude was uh, lamenting where the fault is coming from. According to him, yeah, he said that so many super, so many superstars and so many billionaires has also put their own take, trying to uh, unravel the differences between these two twin brothers. In fact, he said that these guys doesn't respect him as their elder brother. He also said that. Uh, the, the most, of, most of the things they are having there is uh, going towards uh, is uh, the younger twins, the other twins, which is a uh, Peter. Said that Peter's uh, problem is higher than the uh, others. Uh, anytime he's trying to put more in what is happening between Peter and Paul, that the elder twins, which is Peter, always uh, counter him, and also feel uh, that Peter always uh, feel that uh, he's not uh, his opinion is not. Uh, on that so they don't respect his opinion in fact they lack trust on them that's what he's trying to channel his uh, blame on just listen to his voice here i think he fans are so happy f for him to say his own mind because you know all this why paul and peter are behind their mind blaming each other and uh, sometimes they do blame the other brother who has been their manager the both managers but right now i think uh, the other brothers speak up to fans telling fans to hear what is actually the the grand uh, cause of the problem between Peace Square, Peter and Paul. That, uh, in fact, he said, according to him, he said that too many people started from Dan Tata and later Chief Ifan Yoba, and also so many superstars are trying to unravel these issues, but they are still unable. They don't know what to do else to unravel the issue between these two guys. Just listen to his voice here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment at the comment section, and like this video. I want to see your own thoughts. Who do you think that is? Because are you thinking that, do you think that uh, Jude Okoye, the other brother to Peace Square, Peter and Paul, is actually saying the right thing by uh, making it open here, yeah, speaking up to fans, to listen to him, his own side of the story. I want to see your comment at the comment section. I'm out to share. Peace. Steady. Steady. They got tired and they forgot about it. I also got tired and I forgot about it and moved on. Why am I still always involved? I don't understand. Eight years, for eight good years, I have not had anything to do with Peace Square. For eight years. I have survived outside Peace Square for eight years. Now, that is the biggest problem. Peter doesn't listen to anybody. See, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put Peter down. I'm not trying to make him look bad. I'm not trying to say I'm a saint. I'm just trying to say there is nothing humanly possible that people, not just me now, people have not done. They make up for, let you find your bar. Uh, Dan Tata, name them, prominent men, governors, ministers, everybody. Once they hear from him, they hear from me, they hear from Peter, and they're making a final submission, and the submission is not going towards Peter's favor, it will explode and work out. The elder brothers, uh, okay. Um, what is this? This APC man that mentioned, I saw it online, that talked about us if we have elders in our family, if we have uh, uh, people in our family, the elders, the Igwes, and call family members. I'm not going to lie to you. Paul, Paul uh, kind of attacked him, but I, I beg to differ 
for what for the, the man was right. Yes, we have elders, we have family members, we have uh, Igwe's, we have uh, elderly people, so to speak. But the question is, how could none of them Nova make, don't make any impute? They have. Our Igwe of our village have. Prominent members have. Our cousins and aunties, our aunties, all of them, uncles, all of them have my head they told me don't ever put your opinion don't ever get co contribute to this thing we don't want to have anything to do with you peace square i have left them tell me what else am i supposed to do to find my peace even if i come up from here now go to live for iceland peter go talk say pour the side with me so that the backlash will come again Okay, now let's go. The issue of um, I think I finished the issue of uh, uh, EFCC. So the EFCC uh, investigation is still on. So I was able to get my petition in place against P Square because that's the only way I can defend myself. If I if they were all busy focusing on my account to see what Peter alleged I was having as P-Square royalty. I couldn't get them to focus on their account to see the evidence that what I am having, they are also having their own share. So I have to go and put in a petition so that they can now have authorization from me officially to look into their accounts so that they can bring everything that has to do with P-Square process. They go put them for the table. They go see what everybody gets in there. What they get by their account. So basically that is what my petition was all about and that is i believe what the investigation is on i'm not the efcc are doing a very good job they are very thorough bro i'm not going to lie to you if you are in trouble if you do anything illegal and efcc put their thought light on you you're not going to go anywhere those people are very very thorough then they tell me where i i i changed money 16 17 years ago i don't know if you remember i don't even know people i even send the money to So, now, what is giving me a heartache, mostly, about this EFCC, ES, EFCC stuff was, Peter never, not once, came to me and said, brother, please, I'm having some issues with this money thing. I saw this money going to your account, or I saw this thing. How did, how did he see the money going to my account? He never came to me. On, in December, end of December, I remember the picture I took with my son that I posted. End of December to early January, I saw him. He walked into my compound when I was going out with my son. When I was going to the compound to play with my son. He was like, hey, how are you? Uncle Papa is here. He played with my son and everything. And he asked me for a hand tool that I had. I told my boy to get it for him and he now left. Only for me to, two months later, to be invited by the EFCC. And when I saw the petition, my, my heart skipped a bit. I was like, oh my God. This guy came to my compound to come and play with my son. Knowing fully well, he just wrote and submitted a petition against me. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put that together. I, 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 I almost lost my mind. Wait, you... You were just playing with my son two months ago. And looking at your petition and the date, it was very obvious you have already submitted a petition against me. And you came and put up a face. You smiled with me and you played with my son. And you borrowed my tool from me and left. I can't get that out of my mind. It's hard. It's so hard. I can't. It's hard. Not that I don't want to. I've tried so much to, to see if I can forget that. It's just not leaving my head. You, you said I was taking money that I am entitled to. You get your royalty when it comes, when it's due, you share it into three. Paul gets his own, he shares into three. I get my own, I share into three. 
Peace Square had issues. You stopped sharing. I told Paul, stop sharing too. Let everybody keep what they get. And it has been like that for over four and a half years. Peace Square came back together. I did the noble thing. I brought it back to the fold again. Everybody continued sharing again. But till date, two and a half years later, after they came back, Paul is still not sharing. Peter is still not sharing. They get it, they keep it to themselves. I said, no problem. Let me move on with my life. I still ended up in the FCC. Because once you mention Jude, I mentioned P Square inside it, the person to carry the blame is already available. The other side. I said, what is he doing there? I said, I think they are having a meeting. Then the voice became so loud and so loud. The noise was now approaching towards my back because I was facing the TV and there was a door behind me. Next thing, as I was just turning back like that, I started hearing, where are your children there? Where are your children there? You loser! Where are your children there? Next thing, Paul barged into the gate violently. Peter came forcefully behind him. And as I just turned, we made eye, I made eye contact with Peter. He now turned back and went back into his compound. Then Peter's uh, uh, manager, MM, now held Paul, went to her knees. Paul, please, Paul, Rudy, plus, Paul, please, uh, you never heard it. Plus, Paul, you never heard it. You never heard it. I was just surprised. I was just looking at them. Then she walked back in. Paul went inside, cleaned himself up, and now came back. I, I was like waiting for him. To, like, Guy, what did I just witness now? What, what happened? And what was going on? That they had been having issues, and he thought that the only way that the issue should stop is to have a permanent solution to the issues. If Peter is complaining that he doesn't uh, get uh, his ideas, cont contribution uh, in the P Square brand, that what they are going to do now is that if they are going to be doing everything 50 50, like for instance, now they said they wanted to have a, uh, an album whatever somebody wants to get their album for 10 tracks he said okay you will bring half of the album i'll bring half of the album you'll be in charge of your five songs i'll be in charge of my five songs. the other side i said what is he doing there he said i think they're having a meeting then the voice became so loud and so loud the noise was now approaching towards my back because i was facing the tv and there was a door behind me next thing as i was just turning back like that i started hearing where are your children day where are your children day you loser where are your children day next thing Paul barged into the gate violently. Peter came forcefully behind him. And as he just turned, we made eye, I made eye contact with Peter. He now turned back and went back into his compound. Then Peter's uh, uh, manager, MM, now held Paul, went to her knees. Paul, please, Paul, Rudy, plus, Paul, please, uh, you never heard it. Plus, Paul, you never heard it. You never heard it. I was just surprised. I was just looking at them. Then she walked back in. Paul went inside, cleaned himself up, and now came back. I, I was like waiting for him, to, like, guy, what did I just witness now? What, what happened? And what was going on? That they, were ha they had been having issues and he thought that the only way that the issue should stop is to have a permanent solution to the issues. If Peter is complaining that he doesn't uh, get uh, his ideas, cont contribution uh, in the P Square brand, that what they are going to do now is that if they are going to be doing everything 50-50, like for instance now, they said they wanted to have a, uh, an album, whatever. Somebody wants to get their album for 10 tracks. He said, okay, you will bring half of the album, I'll bring half of the album. You'll be in charge of your five songs, I'll be in charge of my five songs. You promote your five songs, I'll promote my five songs. If you want to shoot the video, you have an idea of the video, instead of conflict with mine, shoot it with your own, in your own five songs, I'll shoot mine in my own five songs. But to have that union of Peace Square, I'll have my songs come to you and say, okay, Peter, come and feature in two, three, four, or five of my tracks. Do the same thing. Let's have that union. So that we can be able to protect that P-square uh, sound, that texture that people already fell in love with P-square, so we can still maintain it. That Peter rejected that idea. That was what brought the argument. I was like, that's a good idea, by the way, because this idea now will mean that there will be no more conflict. If I'm disrespecting you in the studios, this time around, we don't need to be in the studio together. If I'm disrespecting your ideas of a song, this time around, put the ideas in your own song. If I'm disrespecting your ideas to shoot, how we're going to shoot a video, what to feature in a song, and I decide to say, oh, let's, talk, let's go and feature Osha. You say, no, you want to feature uh, 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 whoever. Go on, whoever you want, use your money, bring the person, feature the person. At the end of the day, that your five song, register it. Copyright it. 
as your own. I will do likewise to my own. If the song will na my own, na him blow, or your own, na him blow, whichever one will blow, when they call us for peace square, we'll climb sets together, go perform finish, we'll go collect our money, we'll split them 50-50. But when it comes to royalties, streaming, whatever, the only way they come for your name of your own songs being go to you, the only way they come to my own, make it come to me. That, that was exactly what he proposed. And Peter was in agreement with Peace Square. Even more, but I am not charging that. I'm just being equal with them as Peace Square. So that is about the EFCC case and about my wife's own case. Like I said, please, uh, easy with the comment section. Leave her out of it. I understand what you guys are, are feeling about Peter's story. No worries. I, if, if I, if I don't want to cross that line with him. Peter has crossed a very serious line taking this matter to EFCC. But I'm telling you honestly, if I cross that line with him, it's going to be uh, two people. Uh, uh, it's like a pig that's playing in the mud and you're putting on white and you decide to go and join the pig in the mud. It's not going to look good on me to cross that line. Like, I'm going to sit with that bigger person that bigger brother to look at it with a different perspective. But first of all, I need to go and defend myself. So my defending myself now means that I have to go and put in a petition so that they can also be investigated. And that money that I am also receiving that is in my account that he was petitioning about, they also see the same money in their own account. That's why I put in a petition too. Aside that, I don't have any qualms with Peter. I don't have any qualms with Paul. I don't have any qualms with anybody. It's been eight. Yes, uh, I think uh, the guy has made his own uh, opinion. You know, after all this, why uh, we have been hearing from P Square, Peter and Paul, but we have never heard from Jude. Acquisitions have been going on him, and he has never said a word. He has not, never uttered a word. So he chose to use this opportunity to uh, his own side of story. You know, when things happen like this, it look as if everybody a victim. From my own point of understanding, it seems like a uh, uh, Peter always feel victim. And those who I would say that they lack uh, what they call love, yes, because. Uh, uh, in general, they lack love. But when there is a pure love, when there is natural love, sacrifice should come. And when there is a pure sacrifice, if they are sacrificing for each other, it's not everything that they, they will be looking into. There are some things they will look over. Yes, when you see that this is your brother, and you say, no need, let me just uh, overcome. Yes, you keep quiet. Not everything that you speak out. Yes, even if you notice that uh, some money is not uh, a punk yankee is being played. Yeah, if you remember the love, and they just uh, try to ignore. That is it. They already reach that big enough. So I don't think uh, all these things should be a problem to them. I don't know I'm saying now that they should try and pack kiss love. They want us to also hear your own side of story. How do you see these guys? What's their problem? How do you see their problem? The problem between Peace Square, Peter, and Paul, as the brother has also heard his own uh, opinion. I think uh, the brother is the only person that has come up and pop and plan to tell people how this thing is biting them. Because they say, it's he who watch you that know where he's betting from. So where he's feeling the pain. I think uh, he has said it out. But these guys are, we already know. I know this why we have been hearing that um, Peter and Paul is having a misunderstanding. But no one knows the, the actual cause of their problem, the root cause of their problem. You know, the fans only know that they have a misunderstanding. They have never come up and tell fans that uh, this is the cause of their problem. You know, so I think it is the first time their other brother coming out in public to tell people, to tell fans that this is what is causing their problem. The misunderstanding between these two guys, two twin brothers, that's supposed to love themselves. So uh, I think uh, from all. Uh, and from my own side of view, I would say that uh, they just lack a love. They lack a brotherly love. Yes, when even there's a strong love between them, they should know how to overcome certain things. And they overlook certain things. Yes, once the money is involved, then it should be panky yanky. Yes, and if you uh, add their love, when love is in process, you see that you're going to overcome, overlook so many things and let peace reign. Yes, they should know that this is coming, getting out of heart. Because when this continues like that, nobody will take their opinion on everything, on anything serious. Because if they can't love themselves and make peace within them, nobody can make peace among them. They are the ones that will make peace for themselves. Nobody else. No matter what you said, you know, they can still go back and start uh, fighting each other. If they didn't sit down on their own and say, yes, let's just uh, take away all this. Let's keep everything aside. 
a blessed place i believe you enjoyed the video well do not forget to subscribe to the channel i want to see your comment in the comment section and like this video or oh, thanks i'm out to share peace we are praying for god to give them a just peace and the love for brotherly love so that they can still go back and still give you fast vibe the natural talent god give them so that they can start uh, continue to make use of it but this is natural this is gift from god they don't know what god gave them they're not the only twins but there's still far far thousands of twins out there but they are the one that they have these gifts you have uh, singing and people enjoying their song but the life is so each rises you know, that they are using the treasury water things to bring misunderstanding between them about to share please i believe you enjoyed the video please don't forget to drop your comment at the comment section and also subscribe to this channel